Back in February, when I first began the Part-Time YouTuber Academy, I made a commitment to myself as well as to other people in my cohort. I would make one video a week, every week, for two years. Hey there, I'm Kelly. On this channel, we talk about productivity tips for dads so that you can get more done during the workday so you have more time to spend with your family, friends, and your own creative pursuits. So yeah, it's now been 22 weeks since I started this YouTube journey. And two weeks ago, for the first time, I failed my quest of releasing one video every week for two years. And you wanna know what? It doesn't matter. I don't really care, which came off as a bit of a surprise to me. Okay, let's take a step back because it's not entirely true. I do care. I want to make a video for every one of those 104 weeks. The thing is, it came off as a shock to me that it didn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You see, I have a history of going full force into something and just like pushing 100%, sometimes just way more than I have energy to. And then I hit a stumbling block and I crash and I burn. I do this all the time with hobbies, with exercise, whatever it is. I'll be full gusto in it for three months and then I'll miss a day of my workout routine and I'll crash and I won't get back up on the bandwagon. Trust me, ask Yolanda, it happens all the time. This is part of my unfortunate personality. If I lose track of something, if I don't follow through with a commitment to the letter, it just becomes self-defeating in a way and I hate it and I just don't try anymore. This is why it's such a big deal to me that missing that video two weeks ago isn't such a big deal. Because you see, the next week I released a video just as I would have if I hadn't missed the week before. That's the big point here. When trying to get into new routines, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake and slip up and miss once. That's not a big deal. What happens is if next time you get back on the bandwagon and keep on going as if you didn't. A couple of months ago, I read James Clear's Atomic Habits. And while that book is infinitely quotable, I do have one thing I wanna share with you. The first mistake is never the one that ruins you. It is the spiral of repeated mistakes that follows. Missing once is an accident. Missing twice is the start of a new habit. And that really crystallizes what I'm trying to get at here. It's great that you make promises to yourselves and those around you. We all do that. It, it's a great way of holding us accountable and really just kind of propelling us forward so that we're not staying still in life. But when that first slip up happens, and it will happen, we are all human after all, we make mistakes. And it could not even be your fault. Maybe you get sick one day, or you're sick for a whole week, or something happens in your family, and you just can't make a video that week. It's fine, that's not a big deal. What matters is if you can get up from that and make the next one. Or as I'm still struggling with, if I miss a day at the gym or a morning out running, it doesn't matter. What really matters is that I don't miss the next day. Continuing James Clear's quote from earlier, this is a distinguishing feature between winners and losers. Anyone can have a bad performance, a bad workout, or a bad day at work. But when successful people fail, they rebound quickly. The breaking of a habit doesn't matter if the reclaiming of it is fast. So that's what I did, and that's why I'm here now on video number 22, and I didn't stop at video 20. Sure, I missed a week, but you know what? I rebounded from that. I got up and I made a video the next week as if nothing had happened, and you wanna know what? It feels great. This is now my second video in a row since then, and I feel like I hadn't even missed a week. I'm sure this is something that you struggle with. I know I'm not the only one who just gives up after they fail and miss their first routine. I'd love to know what do you do to help yourself rebound, and to all my fellow part-time YouTubers out there who are no longer making videos, I'd really encourage you just to get back on the bandwagon, make that video, and start as if you had never left off. If you need any support, please feel free to contact me directly. You know how to reach me. Um, but otherwise, if you love this content, which I kind of hope you do, please check out this productivity playlist up here. Otherwise, check out this cool stuff over here. And until next time, bye.